This is part two of 5.08, Le Chandelier's principle. Let's talk some more about this pressure. Okay, so they're causing more pressure by making the container smaller. If we look at the coefficient, there's a two in front of the NO2 and a one in front of the N2O4. So there's two moles on the left, one mole on the right. Well, now I made the container smaller. And we can see that, wow, there's a lot more pressure here. And so in order to balance that out or to make things more comfortable is a way to think of it, they're going to make more of the product. Because the product, there's only one mole of them. So there's more room. And so now let's look at another one. What if I have NH4Cl and it yields NH3HCl? How many moles are on the left-hand side? One. How many moles are on the right-hand side? Two. Because I have one plus one. So now if there's more pressure, it would go to the left, which decreases the sudden increase in pressure. So here I have my containers. On the right-hand side, this time I have two moles. I made it smaller. And so now I'm going to produce more of the reactants because there's only one mole of the reactants. All right, so if we look at that same thing, that's what's explained on this slide. So look at another example of shifting equilibrium with changes in pressure. In the, in the equation at equilibrium, NH4Cl yields NH3 plus HCl, one mole of gas on the left produces two moles of gas on the right. If pressure is increased, so a smaller container is squeezed together, then the reaction will proceed to the left or creating more of the reactants. Why? Because according to Le Chandelier's principle, the system will seek to balance the increase in pressure. The system will favor any shift that decreases the increase in pressure. So in other words, it kind of compensates and says, ooh, I don't like this increase in pressure, let's get rid of it. Since two moles of gas are on the right side and only one mole is on the left, an increase in pressure on the system will be met with a shift to the left, a compensating response to the pressure increase. So here we say that the reactants are changing into products, and then, oh, we increase the pressure, and look, more reactants are being made. We have a higher concentration of reactants after the pressure increase than we did before the pressure increase. Conversely, here we start out with no products, we're creating products, and then, whoa, we increase the pressure. I want less of the products because there's two moles versus only one mole of the reactant. In this case, the reaction shifts to the left because there are two moles of the products and only one mole of the reactant. Le Chancelier's principle helps predict how the equilibrium of a system will change due to changes in concentration, pressure, or temperature. And so when they're talking about concentration, they're saying if I add more reactant or take away reactant, pressure, again with gases, and temperature, which really depends on if it's exo or endothermic. According to Le Chancelier's principle, any chemical system will attempt to stabilize its equilibrium. If a factor of the system changes, if the temperature goes up or down, if the pressure changes, or if the reactants or product amounts change, then the system will shift to reestablish equilibrium. Chemical reactions are in e chemical equilibrium that may be affected by changing conditions like amounts or concentration, pressure or temperature, and it can be predicted by Le Chatelier's principle. And that's it for this one.